Okay, I'm taking you out of that coffin and I'm putting you into the life of the Holy Spirit right now. He said, as beholding as in a mirror, the glory of God. And let me tell you how that happens. The Bible tells us that Jesus was the reflected image of God. So that when you look at Jesus, it's like looking in the mirror and seeing God. Amen. And when you come to the Lord's table, You're no longer seeing yourself. You should be, when you look into, watch now, when you come to the Lord's table, you should be seeing the reflection of Jesus Christ at this table in the bread and in the cup. You should be seeing the reflection of the Lord Jesus Christ in your face because that is what you're going to be transformed into. Some of you ladies have had an image of, of a thin girl in a bikini on your refrigerator maybe 30 years ago and you said that's my image Sunday I only got 300 pounds to lose but I'm going to get there so a month later you, you see less of that then six months later, that thing just disappeared before your eyes. A year later, you're heavier than when you started. So, that has no bearing. But now watch what happens at the Lord's table. This is fresh. The Bible says His blessings are fresh every day. The blessings are renewed every single day. When you come to the Lord's table, it's with an unfailed face. When you come to Christ, He said, if you eat of my flesh... Drink of my blood, you'll have life in you. As long as you approach the table with the understanding that you cannot fool God. And this is the place where corrections are made. This is the place where healing is done. This is the place where restoration occurs. This is the place where transformation occurs. We all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed. <coughs> Either the world is transforming us into its image, or Jesus is transforming us into his image. How many want the image of Christ in you more than the world? Amen. This, this what's happening. To do that, you have to seek him. You have to give yourself over to him and come and say, Lord, it is not I but you. It is not I that no, I no longer do I live, but Christ that lives in me. And let me tell you something. As long as the pastors that are here you have right now are with you, there'll never be a casket for this church, ever. Because these pastors are dedicated unto the Lord. We love you more than life itself. We're excited about coming to church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. We're excited about you. You excite our hearts. We love you to death. And if you die of an overdose of love, God bless you on your way out. Because, man, you, everybody should be so lucky. As long as we're here, there'll never be a coffin for this church. This is the resurrection, glory, and power of God. Right now. And so I want to ask you to bow your heart with me in a word of prayer. Only you, only you really know if you're with a crutch right now, if you're in a wheelchair, or if you're ready for the call. Only you, only you know if you need that resurrection life inside. I am preaching to you, Christ, Him alive. I pray that you would choose today to allow him to dominate your mind, your heart, your soul, and every part of your life. I ask you to allow him to govern you. Become alive in him. Let his life live itself out through you. This is right now the opportunity. If you want me to include you in this closing prayer of this message, in order for you to allow all of these things that 
have been permitted to distract you from Christ to be out of your life and you want my prayer right now, please raise your hand right where you are. God bless each and every one of you. Come alive in Jesus so that when that thing tempts you again, when that thing tries to get your attention again, you'll say no. As for me in my house, this is how we're going to live. As for me in my house, we're going to worship. As for me without, we're going to serve the Lord with gladness. Gladness. <clears throat> and we will be a shining light. Father, we thank you for these beloved saints of Calvary Community Church. Each and every one of them, Father, are loved immensely, deeply, unfathomably today. We ask your blessings upon each one. As we come before your presence, Lord, seeking resurrection life in us, we come before your presence even now, asking you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen the weakest among us today, Father, and that you would cause us to have the victory in everything in life. Cause these precious souls to get a glimpse of Jesus as we come to the Lord's table today. As we look into the Lord's table, may we see a reflection of Jesus there in His might and in His glory. We are transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as the Spirit of the Lord. So, Father, we pray in Jesus' name, forgive us where we have failed ourselves, our church, and our community, and our families. Forgive us, Lord, and we pray that we will be strengthened with might in the inner man. That we will have the joy of the Lord in our hearts as never before. That we would serve you, not in an ambiguous way, not in a questionable way, but with joy in our hearts. Oh, Father, today, in the name of Jesus, we claim the blood of Jesus today. We claim the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Please, let's stand together for the reading of the word prior to the